Hello everyone, welcome to IV's YouTube channel. Today we are going to talk about how to get top two subcategories in each category. So this is one of the use cases that I'm using, but essentially what we are trying to do, if we have one particular field and we have another field inside, and then if I want to put a filter so that I'm able to see the top two or top three, top five, then how do we achieve this? So let's get started. First, let's see what are the problems if we go by a usual manner. So this data set that I'm using is a very famous data set that pretty much everyone uses in Tableau for the Superstore sales data. And I have category and I have subcategory. So this data set is of a e-commerce. So there are products, there is segments inside a segment, there is a category, inside a category, there is a subcategory. Then there are product ID, product names, and all the information related to the sales, profit, discount, quantity is given over here. So let's say what we wanted to figure out is I have, if I double click on category, I have got three main categories, furniture, office supplies, technology. And within each category, I have multiple subcategories. So in, within furniture, I've got bookcases, chairs, furnishing tables. Under technology, I've got accessories, copiers, machines, and phones. And then I will go ahead and put the sales value. Now, if I do want my end user or the stakeholder to focus on all the subcategories, if I want him only to look at the top two for each category, so typically when we have to apply top two or get top two, what is this? This is a filter that we apply in Tableau. So ideally I should have gone to, let's say a uh, subcategory and go to the filters and go to top and by field, make this top two, sum of sales and okay. But now what is happening? It is not really considering the subcategory. It is considering, it is not considering the category. It is considering the subcategory alone. So only the subcategory which are having the top two sales lies in furniture. Hence, you are able to see the category of furniture and the bookcases and chairs are given. However, this is not what we wanted. So if you go back to the visual that I showed you in the beginning, we want in each category, I want to find my subcategory. Now, the other way of looking at it could be that why not we put category in the filtered area and then we use something called add to context, right? Right now it's only furnitures, but we can add this to context and we can have show filters in which all the categories are coming. I could have added this to context and then if I click on, let's say if I make a single value list, if I click on office supplies or technology, now I'm able to see the subcategory for this particular category. But if I want to show it in one single visual, I don't want to, I don't want any interaction on my dashboard or my visualization. I want to tell the story. I want to just showcase which are the top two subcategory for each category. This process also fails us. So what's the next thing we are going to do? I'm going to create this chart once again, dropping the category, subcategory, and sales. Now, once we have done this thing, there is something called table calculations within Tableau. We will go to the sum of sales and apply the table calculation of rank. So if you guys know about this function rank, which is also in Excel, basically it gives you a rank of one, two, three on based on the value that you have. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to click on rank. And now what it has done, it has said chair is rank one because it's got the highest sales. And let's do one more thing just to make this data more understandable. So if I look over here and uh, let's say five, okay. So what it is doing is rank number one is chairs, rank number two is bookcases. These were the top two, if you remember in the previous visualization. 
And then the third is copier, fourth is phone. Now, again, what is happening? It is giving me rank of the entire table, overall rank. But I don't want the overall rank. I, was, I want the rank within a category. So, for example, if there are four things over here, one, two, three, four should be coming within this particular pane over here. So, we are going to modify our table calculation a little bit. And uh, I'm going to simply go over here, say edit table calculation. And right now it is doing table down, hence considering all the values of the table. We will make it paint down. Now, as soon as I did a paint down, you can see the difference, how it changed. Now it is only working on one pane at a time. So it's given one, two, three, four within the furniture category. Now, once you've got this thing, now this makes our work a little easier. What will be the rank of top two? The rank of top two will be one and two. So that makes it very easy for me to work now. I want to bring the sum of sales with the table calculation in the filters and pick one and two only. Now, anytime you want to pull a value or a field from one place to another place in Tableau and you want to leave a copy of it in the original place, you will always use a control button. So I'm going to press control and pull this value in filters also. As soon as I do that, since this is ranked, it's numbers. The filter that we are looking at is related to numbers. What do I want? I want one and two. So one to two and okay. And now you can see that we are only getting the subcategory for each category, which are belonging to first and second position based on the sales. So I hope you enjoyed this video and you find it useful. For more such videos, please subscribe to Ivy's YouTube channel. Thank you. See you again.